Hello, brothers and sisters. It's your weekly pastor's message. Just to update you on a few things as we're gearing up for the beginning of the school year and all of our, our fall program kickoff. Uh, the big news lately has been the release of our new parish and school logo. It is the, the fruit of uh, a process of uh, discernment and work with a, with a designer and it's part of the accreditation process that the school is going through right now, but we decided to go ahead and, and have a logo that would be for the entire parish, not just the school, because we are, we are one community. And uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful logo. Um, we have, the, uh, we have this, the rays of the rising sun. We have the open book of scriptures. We have uh, a blue mantle with stars, and we have the mo monstrance with the Holy Eucharist kind of rising up there from the bottom. And then we have parish school and a little crown down here. But the, that's very rich symbolism about who we are and what our mission is as a parish. We have the rising sun, which is evocative of the resurrection of the son of justice, the Messiah rising. Uh, this has always been a, uh, associated with the coming of, of Jesus Christ, who is the king, not only of his resurrection, but also in his second coming. We also have the color green, which is one of the colors of the Holy Spirit, which, which evokes um, life and flourishing and hope. Uh, there we have the, the open book of Scripture, the written Word of God, which, which reveals Jesus Christ to us, that leads us to Him, and, and who forms us as disciples. It's also a very important image for our school as well, because all of, all of our learning, all truth comes ultimately from Jesus Christ. Uh, the blue mantle with the stars that in it is, uh, connects us with Our Lady, the Queen of the King, our, our Queen Mother. And this, this uh, blue and, and the blue mantle also uh, connects us with the Archdiocese of Portland. This comes from the, the shield of our Archdiocese. As you know, as a parish, we don't exist independently uh, on our own. We're not a community church. We're, we are in communion with the Universal Church. And so that is kind of written in to, to, our, to our logo here. And then coming up from the bottom is the monstrance, right? Uh, that we are a parish focused on Jesus in the Eucharist, uh, a Eucharistic parish, becoming Eucharistic people and living a Eucharistic life of sacrificial love. And the, the actual design of the monstrance is taken from our own monstrance that we have in the church. So you have the, the rising of, of, uh, of our Lord's Euchar in the Eucharist. And, and the cross, which is very, right in the middle, really, uh, you know, of course, is the cross is the absolute center. This is where Jesus became our king, that he reigns from the wood of the cross. And the, and the cross is now the axis of all reality. And so it's right in the middle there. Uh, prominently, and it links, the cross links the, uh, the rising sun with the rising Eucharist, uh, showing the connection between creation and redemption of, of, um, of, of uh, reason and faith. Again, a very important part, uh, part of our school. It also connect, the cross connects the, the script, Holy Scriptures with the Holy Eucharist and showing the unity of word and sacrament. Uh, so it's a, it's a, I think it's just an absolutely beautiful logo. I really want to thank uh, Sarah and the team for, for helping uh, working up this, this, this uh, design, which I think we will be able to use for many, many, many years. Uh, oh, and by the way, just the, the fact of a shield itself, shield, the shield of faith is what uh, St. Paul talks about in the letter to the Ephesians. And a shield, so a shield uh, represents protection and, and the virtue of faith, of course, which is why we are all here, as well as a shield also has a sense of, of gravitas, of, of tradition and, and heritage and richness uh, that, we, that we have as Catholics. So there it is, and you'll be seeing it more and more as we get our, our signage updated. Um, and yeah, so it's just, there's a lot of, a lot of uh, spiritual truths uh, in here to ponder and to, and to pray over. All right, so on to some other news. Uh, probably the most uh, uh, well-known news, of course, is the new mask mandate indoors from the governor. We received our, our indications protocols from the archdiocese, and so we are following those. And that is indoors, we will, anyone five and up uh, is masked. 
we have uh, reopened the chapel, the, the side room there, for those who, for whatever medical condition, can't, uh, can't wear a mask. Um, and, and, but that's about it. We don't have to do social distance um, in, in, indoors. And so you'll see me at mass. I'll be having the mask on and off, kind of like what we were doing during the pandemic. Hopefully this doesn't last long, um, but we are, again, a parish of the archdiocese. And so when the archbishop asks us to do something, we do it and do it. And we'll do it joyfully. Uh, so let's keep praying for, for our Archbishop and for all those who um, are negatively impacted by this rise of, of cases. We have a Tuesday talk coming up August 24th. And just as a reminder, our Tuesday talks are in person. So, so they're, they're, we're not live streaming them. They'll be in person, so please come. There'll be refreshments. Uh, this next Tuesday talk, you're not going to want to miss. It's going to be our favorite Bishop Peter Smith, and he's going to talk about spiritual warfare and the sacraments. Uh, so it's, it's not, not a talk to miss. So please come and enjoy our, our fellowship together and to hear a great talk from Bishop Peter. So we are gearing up for our sacramental preparation for our youngsters in, this, in the second grade for First Confession, First Holy Communion. Just remember that uh, the children need to be in a year of catechesis before they go into this sacramental prep. Uh, we want to really we want to encourage discipleship and conversion and habits of faith, and not just box checking things because that doesn't really lead to the transfer of an encounter with Jesus Christ. So uh, please get in contact with Teresa Becker if 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 you're interested, and let's uh, keep our youngsters uh, moving forward in their life of faith. We also have our Family of Faith, which is a family catechesis. It's a beautiful program from so Sophia Institute. And we have a number of families doing it in the parish, and if, uh, invite your family to become a part of that. And please see the, the bulletin for more information. Brothers and sisters, have a wonderful week, and we will see you at church. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever.